In the past two years, since COVID hit Maryland, more than 940,000 cases have been confirmed. And after an Omicron surge today, Governor Hogan announced Maryland has the lowest COVID-19 rate in the country. But like any virus, COVID-19 has mutated and will continue to do so for a long time. Rachel Carden is live now with a closer look at emerging variants and a breakdown of recommendations from healthcare professionals. Rachel. Well, Vic, most people know what those recommendations are. Hand washing, social distancing, wearing your mask, especially if you're inside, as well as vaccinations and boosters, all of them aimed at keeping this virus at bay so it can stop mutating and spreading. It might not be the news you want to hear, but COVID-19 and its variants will be around longer than anyone would like. A lot remains to be seen. It's still a very dynamic uh, virus. It'll continue to change. Dr. Mark Olsick, chief medical officer of Carroll Hospital, says there are dozens of coronavirus variants floating around out there right now, but we only hear about the big ones Delta because of how sick it makes people, and Omicron because of how quickly it spreads. And guess what? Any new variant you do hear about almost certainly will be more transmissible than Omicron. The hope is that as the virus changes, each strain becomes less severe. But how it affects each person will vary depending on their age, health, and vaccination status. Assistant Secretary of Health Rachel Levine says now is the time to stay focused on the mission. We understand how challenging it is, but we cannot give up now. We have so many tools in our public health toolbox that we didn't have before. The government's message remains. Get vaccinated, get boosted, get your kids vaccinated, and that is the best way that you can protect yourself, your family, your community. Now, a little bit of good news. If you have been vaccinated, boosted, and you still contracted COVID-19, now you have extra immunity against any other emerging variants. So it's very likely that you could end up going through the future without contracting any of them. But again, it's still important to do your due diligence to keep yourself safe. We're live in Towson. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.